It's been announced that over 50 seismic trackers around Yellowstone's biggest lake have picked up tremors. This news was released due to a recent study that was carried out at Yellowstone. Over the past 12 months this national park has been in the news, and these trackers have sparked the interest of researchers. Seismologists working at Yellowstone are doing more tests to see how it's affected the national park. But as with any news regarding Yellowstone, people started to ask questions about the supervolcano. Another recent study has also shown researchers that Yellowstone is sitting on top of a hotspot. This means that every so often magma starts to rise to the surface. Rather worryingly, scientists have said that should an earthquake occur, it could take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction is triggered. At this moment in time, nothing seems out of the ordinary. This volcano is the one people focus on mainly because of its size. If it did erupt, there would be massive consequences. Yellowstone is over 3,400 square miles, and this makes it larger than the states of Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Scientists believe the Yellowstone volcano has enough magma to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. A little while back, a park official said that a thermal spring near Old Faithful has erupted for the fourth time in the last 60 years. This particular spring went from being dormant to spewing steam and water between 20 and 30 feet high. Something interesting to note is that this height has not been recorded since 1957. This activity includes new erupting vents and surface fractures, and it's meant that the officials at the park have had to close a boardwalk in the popular upper basin. This is because getting hit with this water can injure people due to the heat. Last year, specialists come forward and said that over a period of two weeks, more than 200 earthquakes hit Yellowstone, and this told scientists that a huge tectonic plate shift had taken place underneath the surface of the Earth. Seismologists have said that if there was an eruption at Yellowstone, there would be mass destruction. However, experts working at the National Earthquake Information Center don't seem to be worried, and have tried to calm and reassure people. Scientists are constantly keeping an eye on Yellowstone. For volcanologists, the biggest worry is wing-flung ash. The ash would be pretty devastating for the United States. The fallout would include short-term destruction of Midwest agriculture, and rivers and streams would be clogged by grey mark. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.